What's going on everybody? Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to resize fences in Bloxburg. Let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so first, let's make sure that you have the fence that you wanna remake. And so let's say you wanna just have two of these little beams going across here. This is one of my little build hacks that I don't share, but these are very useful. This is a build hack that I use a lot in my builds. And it's kind of something that not many people know how to do. So I figured that you guys would probably use this. So now you're gonna to have to have a cube right in here. You're gonna to wanna to make it the exact width, which is 0.7. And I believe it would be 0.7 for this side as well. Yep, and so then we're going to make it slightly taller than that right there, probably to about uh, 3.05. So that's gonna be like our little post now. And so we can just put this over here for now. And then we're going to put it like this. We're gonna paint it the same color of our wood texture there. And so now what we can do is we can kind of get like a beam if we want to. This is one way that you can do it is you can use a standard square beam and place it alongside the actual plank right there. And so obviously, as you can see, that's pretty good in height uh, and our width looks like it's pretty good too. And so now what we're going to do with the standard square beam is we're going to go right here. And so you can just place it like this. You can place it like this too. And so if you want them to be like closer together, like I said, we just have two of them. You can just place it like this and right here. You can just reset them around. You can kind of play with it a little bit. And so that looks pretty good. I really like that. And obviously you can make it just a little bit higher if you want to as well. It's really up to you. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. And so now I'm going to also teach you how to make this, but like make like a broken fence almost. There's an old build hack that I did back in the day where I made like a fence just like this, but the fence was broken in some spots. And so if you want to do that, just have your regular fence. Actually, yeah, I, uh, what I did the first time I did the broken fence hack is I did this. And so then I just made a post uh, the size of this right here which I believe it's height is, looks like it's about 4.15. That's pretty dang close. All right. And so now what we're gonna do is, so now you can just place like a pillar. These are like temporary, basically you can place a pillar, you can place a basic shape, whatever you want. And so to get people to walk through there, you can kind of just go into the three by three mode and kind of just look like this. And so if you want your beams to be like halfway across, this is a cool thing that you can do, is just go like that. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> no, it's okay, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. So what we're going to do is so instead of using our pillars, since the pillars are like kind of resized too far up, if that makes sense, we can just go like this here and here. And then we're going to use our standard or a small square beam. We're going to place it right here and go into that. And so and then you can like transform it in just a little bit. And so if I was to like delete this post, as you can see, there's like a, like a peg popping out right there. And so a way to make this look good is there's no really like easy way to make it look good if that makes sense but like 10 normally when you have like a broken fence you know you normally have like it like facing like outwards if that makes sense so you can use the green uh thing right here to like rotate the piece like outwards as if somebody just sprinted through this or something like that and so like you can see how part of that's like out there and then you can place it this on like the ground you can place one on the ground and then you're going to have to use your uh red one and make it like flat on the ground like that and it looks like you have like a broken fence piece here on like on the ground. Which that looks pretty cool. And so then you can do like the same thing on the other side. But basically, uh, if you want to have like a longer plank on the ground, just make it, uh, make it what, five in width. And oh wow, that's pretty tough to do because, uh, whoops, let's just, let's go here first. This will be easier. All right. And then you can just transform this down. And then you can flip it. And then on the floor. And resize it like that like you can just do anything like that really even like put it like right there and boom you have like a broken fence so like yeah that's pretty cool i think i like doing this build hack i haven't done it in a long time because i haven't made like a haunted house if that makes sense but stay tuned i might be making one here soon hopefully i don't know again i don't know what my phone build is going to be but we'll be working on it here soon so don't worry speaking of working on stuff hopefully you guys are seeing this video by sunday sometime on sunday here i'm filming this sunday at about 2 p.m so i gotta edit this gotta make a thumbnail you know how it be but yeah we hopefully if it comes out on monday i'm sorry guys <laughs> if it comes out later than monday super sorry but yes that's how you can clone this fence here and so there's other fences that i did originally whenever i first did this build hack is like i did like the tall simple metal fence here and so this one I actually just did this and then if you wanted to like this is the one I did my broken fence on. And so you can do a small square beam in this exact spot. So first make sure you have the exact width, right? And then uh, 
this this one was crazy actually. I remember this is one of the things that made me uh like go go viral on Twitter. Uh, this build hack because not many people know how to do it. So yeah, it's it was very it was very game changing at the time I guess. It wasn't like you know people weren't like rushing to use it, but it still was cool. And so if you just do like this. This yeah, this was one of the build hacks that I was very proud to say like I I made. I was very happy uh, with this build hack. And so you can kind of just go like this along the sides, and as you can see, that's like, it's kind of like this one right here. And so actually you would get rid of this uh, smaller one in here and go place it like on the other side or something. Whoops, what on earth just happened? <laughs> Alright, yeah, you would just go like this here. And then boom, like, you know, you have like that, and then you could, if you wanted to make it like broken, you could just slant one like this. And then just like... And then just like uh, go off of that one too, since it's like a bent bar almost, you know, like what I'm saying. And so then, if you wanted to do where it goes up, like on this one right here, I believe this is far enough apart. It is, so that looks pretty cool too. I actually really like that. And so if you did enough of these, you can get like a, it to be like perfectly fine, like up here, broken down here, and then perfectly fine down there. And to do it down here, you need to have like a floor because the regular glass or grass does not let you. So just keep that in mind because I was kind of struggling with that. But all you do is just go in the corner here, and boom. Works just like that. And you can just use the transform tool to place them in the spots that you want it to be in. But yes, guys, that's really going to be it for this video. This is kind of just one of those build hacks that I wanted to show you guys that I knew how to do, and I felt like not many people know how to do. And since it's getting close to fall, Halloween season, I figured some of you guys might be making those haunted houses, and you might want to use these. I figured they might help you out. If they did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye, everybody.